We all go a little mad sometimes. And now, our AI can too. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today, we're going to take a look at this. Let me start off by saying that generally, I'm a pretty optimistic guy. I think the future of humanity is bright, even though there have been and will be some dark spots. With that being said, AI is one of those things that can make our future great. Or it could destroy the human race, depending on how you train it to behave. I'm not the only one saying this. There are groups out there, experts in the field, who really feel like AI should not be used for military, it should be regulated on how it's trained, and it could cause the downfall of society. And we have seen what poorly trained AI can do. Take, for example, Microsoft's Tay. This was a chatbot designed just to interact with humans and figure out how to become a better person. Unfortunately, because they unleashed Tay on the internet, Tay became a racist bigot who thought we should exterminate people that weren't white. I'm serious, really did. And that's why the data that you use to train your AI is so important. Researchers are finding that a lot of AI even has bias, and it's just because the data set it was fed. Well, in step this team of researchers from MIT, this is the same team that brought us the Nightmare Machine, which takes normal photos and makes them into a spooky landscape. And they're also the ones who created Shelly, which is a Twitter bot that can write horror stories, which if you want to read something interesting, go check out some of her work. Well, this newest project, their psychopath AI, is named Norman, after the character Norman Bates from Alfred Hitchcock's famous movie, Psycho. Norman was designed to perform something known as image captioning, which is a way to come up with a text description of an image using a computer. But unlike normal image captioning AI, which is usually trained using Coco or common objects in context, which is a huge data set used for object detection, Norman was trained in a very dark subreddit. I take it that the subreddit is so dark, they can't even tell you what one it was. In fact, they say they redacted the name because they don't want people going there. So after they trained Norman on images from that subreddit, they took Norman and another just standard captioning bot that was trained with Coco and gave them a Rorschach test. For those of you who don't know, the Rorschach test is that ink blot test you see. It's where you show a patient images and then write down what they see in the ink blot and then further analyze it later on down the line. This gives you a pretty good idea of their psychological traits, if you will. So anyway, back to Norman. Let's take a look at some of the ink blots these AI looked at and what responses they gave. And if you want to play along, leave what you see in the comments down below. In this first one, the standard AI saw a close-up of a vase with flowers. Norman, however, saw a man shot dead. In this next ink blot, the normal AI saw a black and white photo of a small bird. Whereas Norman saw, a man gets pulled into a dough machine. I don't care who you are, that's pretty dark. For our next ink blot, our standard AI saw a black and white photo of a baseball glove. And Norman saw, man is murdered by a machine gun in broad daylight. And we'll only take a look at one more because this one's pretty horrific too. Here's the image. And the standard AI saw a person is holding an umbrella in the air. What Norman saw though, is a man shot dead in front of his screaming wife. How crazy is that? Now, to give credit to the team at MIT, they didn't do this just for the shock factor. They were using this as an example of how a bad data set can corrupt a benign AI. And it really did, didn't it? But now, at the same time, not all hope is lost. You can retrain AI as well. And MIT is looking for your help with that. I'll put a link down below. They want you to take the inkblot test, tell them what you see, and you're gonna help program Norman and make him normal again. But with that being said, I wanna know what you think. Is AI a good thing for the future or is it gonna bring the destruction of our world? Seeing what happened here with Norman, is it something we could even control? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe. Help this channel grow. 
I do videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, pretty much try and keep on that schedule. So I do hope to see you here again soon. And then with that being said, until next time, just have fun and be safe.